Hello YouTube, this is Agarra one again with another Let's Play. Uh, since we finished Doom in the last one I did, I figured we'll go ahead and start another one. And I've been in a mood for a retro gaming uh, thing here recently. So I, I've started reacquiring a bunch of old games that I used to have on consoles years ago. Uh, that broke, got lost, whatever. Uh, so this Let's Play is going to be over a game I used to have for Sega Genesis called Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Now, it was also out on the Super Nintendo, but because I had it on Sega Genesis, that's what I got it for. Uh, if you guys are curious what uh, what software I'm using, uh, I'm using the Ubuntu Linux 12.10 uh, operating system, uh, the 64-bit version. I'm using the Gen S GS emulator, which is, I guess, a modded version of this emulator that's supposed to include some new features. Seems to work great for me. And uh, there's a 64-bit version of this out there uh, on the forums that I found because the version that the maker has on their website is only 32-bit. And the 64-bit Ubuntu didn't like having it around. Even though it ran, it kept yelling at me about broken dependencies. So... Uh, if you guys are running 64-bit Linux uh, and you want to use this emulator, uh, swing by the Ubuntu forums and just do a search for 64-bit binary of Gen S, GS. And there's a guy out there who made one for Ubuntu users. Should work with Debian or any Debian-based distro. And that way your package manager won't yell at you. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started on here. Uh, Sega Genesis Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's a nifty little game that, uh, like I said, I used to play years ago, and I'm going to move the microphone up here so maybe you guys can hear a little bit of the game audio. Uh, I do have it rigged up with a controller as well. Makes it a little bit easier to play some of these older games, because I, I just... I can like I like PC gaming, you know, if a game was made for PC, uh, but uh, I just cannot get used to playing these old emulator games with a keyboard and mouse. I just I can't do it. I've tried. So basically, the idea behind this game is you have your neighbors, which is anything really that's not a zombie or a demon or whatever, and you have to collect all the neighbors before the zombies get to them. Now you have different weapons. Uh, you start out with a squirt gun, I think. Uh, to open doors, sometimes you have to have a key. Uh, and you get some wacky weapons too, like this is your default little squirt gun weapon. I'll show you some of the other ones as soon as I save these neighbors. Now if you look on the right side, you'll see there's like a little radar thing. The little white or yellow dots uh, represent neighbors that you have not yet saved. When you collect the last neighbor, it usually opens up a door for you to leave the level. Now, if a neighbor gets killed, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I think there's a minimum number that you have to save in order to complete a level. But, uh... Now... Let's change weapons. We also have special items. See, I got a health pack over there. I don't think I have any other special items, but here's my uh, uh, fire extinguisher weapon, which should freeze these guys in place. Yep, freezes them. Here's pop cans, uh, forks, and knife, and back to the squirt gun. I'm gonna go collect this key over here because the keys I think carry over, and. Uh, will work on any door. I don't think there's any, uh, you know, any restriction as far as certain keys only working on certain doors. So I'm going to collect that key there. And when you're done, now the Sega Genesis, uh, I did find some games that allowed save games on the Sega Genesis, but in my experience, the vast majority of games on the Sega Genesis, for whatever reason, did not allow you to save your game. So, uh, what you get a lot of is, uh, passwords and stuff. Uh, so this one, once you get to a certain point, I think it's every five levels you get a password. But, uh... 
I'll go ahead and make a separate video for this level and I'll go ahead and get this one started uploading.